This year, the Great Smoky Mountains National Park is continuing to set visitation records. Data from the National Park Service shows nearly 2 million people visited the Smokies through the end of March, up from the previous record of 1.7 million in 2019. Now, that many people in the park at once can be harmful to animals and wildflowers if people don't follow the rules. And park rangers tell 10 News reporter Grace King following those rules is so important. It's just beautiful, beautiful here in the spring. Everybody should come to the park and look at the flowers. In April, gorgeous wildflowers draw thousands of visitors to the Great Smoky Mountains each year. We really like the purple ones. We don't know what they're called, <laughs> but we keep talking about them. Um, there's these yellow ones. In the upper elevations, a recent cold snap means some flowers are wilting a little earlier than usual. Cold weather can impact sensitive plant tissues, especially things like new leaves and flowers. But the good news is they'll be back next year. Those hardier tissues that are needed for the plant to survive long term are generally not impacted much, like the roots. In the lower and mid elevations, and as more flowers begin to bloom, Park rangers are reminding people of a few rules to follow. Make sure that you always stay on trail and that's so that you're not trampling those wildflowers and also you're not compacting the soil. With so many visitors, it's important to leave no trace. You see beautiful wildflowers, make sure you leave them for the next person and the next generation. Planning ahead can help you do that. That's going to help you prevent doing things like roadside parking, where you may accidentally be parking on some of those beautiful plants you came to enjoy. I'm Grace King reporting. If you missed those wildflowers, don't worry. The park has more than 1500 species that bloom 12 months a year. Plenty more will be blooming in May, June and July.